Um, now, maybe you're having your wine as an easy drinking wine, or you're having your wine for dinner. If it's an easy drinking wine, usually there's very little formality. Um, the f most important thing about wine is you must serve it at the right temperature, otherwise its characteristics will change. If you were serving a good red wine too cold, it will feel very tannic and maybe the acidity will stand out more. Um, with a white wine, if you serve a white wine, Sauvignon or Chardonnay, too warm, it will feel so-called flabby, sort of rounded and creamy, which just unappetizing. So it's very important you serve your wine at the right temperature. With white wines, there's a range of temperatures at which you serve them. Crisp Sauvignons and light wines can afford a cooler temperature. Um, rich, creamy Chardonnays should be served at a slightly warmer temperature than ice cold. Um, so I would say as a guideline, something like a Ristling um, or a very fresh Sauvignon, you could serve at about 6 to 9 degrees centigrade. A Chardonnay or a more expressive wine, a wine that needs to be more aromatic, you could serve between, let's say, 9 and even up to 16 degrees centigrade with some Chardonnays. A good Burgundy is better off at about 12 to 14 degrees centigrade. So try and find out what the right temperature for your wine ought to be. The merchant you're buying from should know. So that's about serving wine to the right temperature. Now, what, to serve wine, if you've got a young wine, um, for example, Australian Shiraz, screw cup, straight away it's, it, you can pour it into the bottle, into, into the glass. Your choice of glass depends on, again, your occasion and how you want to, to enjoy the wine. If it's a simple drinking wine and you just want to, have to match that with a simple pasta, a simple glass like that will do. The best thing about serving wine is, wine, again, is about aroma, so let's always focus on getting the most of that to you, to your nose, to, to enjoy the dimension of wine that offers. So don't fill your glass up to the top because you really don't have anywhere for the aromas to be captured so that you can enjoy that aspect. Where it's, where it's a bigger glass, clearly that's a glass had to contain two thirds of a bottle. So here you really just want to serve up to about um, one fifth to a quarter of the glass for a big glass. Now, why do they make glasses that big if all you want to do is to serve to there? The reason is that as the wine evaporates, the aromas can sit at the top here. And as you drink, your nose goes into the glass and the aromas just float around your glass, your, your nose, as well as the wine going into your mouth, so you get the both, best of both worlds. Your sensory areas are hit at the same time. Um, so I'll actually serve some wine now. Um, with a simple red wine, here's a simple red wine. It's a Rioja, as it happens, already opened. Um, normally, I would tend to serve half a glass for myself in this. That's just about right. It will give, you can also, add later or refill your glass, it does give some room for the aroma to sit. Um, so when you're drinking it, the first thing, the aroma comes to your nose and then you drink. Something this size, in this case, I'm going to use a nice white wine. You may find that, as always in restaurants, the white wine glass has a tendency to be smaller than the, white wine, than the red wine glass. So if you're serving at a dinner table, you do want to have that small differentiation glass for the red wine and here a white wine in a big glass. So what you want to do is to serve really a small quantity like that. It's actually um, coming up to a glass or maybe a bit more. So that's probably a standard glass. It's sitting at the bottom of the glass. The aromas will evolve into this space and again when you drink your nose goes into the glass, you pick up the aroma and, and the flavour of the wine on the palate at the same time. What should be said is that nine 80% of taste is in the nose, hence these glasses work particularly well with really fine wine because it's all about that aroma. So these are two ways of serving wine. Always never over serve your wine. Give your guest, for example, the, the, the ability to say no and also don't fill the glass up. So that's how you serve wine. The preparation before, the right temperature and then the gentle pouring into the glass